All right, Shalom, Shalom. Back with another one. Um, just following up on a previous video I just did. Um, don't underestimate the power of cardio. Um, so I got this article here. Uh, we're gonna get um, the benefits of cardio, right? The benefits, because it is important. You know, despite um, what certain people you know, believe about, um, despite what certain people believe concerning uh, the type of cardio that you should do, which, you know, a mixture, a mixture of different cardio is good. Like, for example, you know, with boxers, you know, they do... Uh, explosive, explosive cardio, um, endurance cardio, right? Th be a hey, throwing punches and throwing those combinations. Those are that's that's explosive, right? But then doing that for prolonged periods of time, you know, that builds up endurance. You know, that's why you know boxers boxers do a lot of running. You know, for endurance. You know, uh, hit cardio, high intensity interval training cardio. That's good, also. You know, all that is is good. All that's relevant is not, you know, all about uh, uh, building muscle, because you can build muscle, but not have a functional body, so to speak. You know. So in terms of. Uh, you know that's that's like the difference between a uh, an uh, athlete, so to speak, and a bodybuilder, right? A bodybuilder he lifts and he builds muscle, uh, basically for vanity, right? He does it for aesthetics, is what what you call it. How how something how uh, you know his muscles look, but not whether or not if they're functional, right? If they can move at high speeds or uh, uh, um, or if they're flexible enough to throw a kick to the side of somebody's head. That's more so when you get into the fighting sports, right? Or the, the combat sports, so to speak, right? But um, so this is a uh, an article from Nutrisense.io. It says, sweat it out, the top benefits of cardiovascular fitness, right? Uh, cardiovascular exercise or cardio, meaning heart, heart exercises, as it's often called, is an essential part of almost any workout routine, whether it's a nice walk around the neighborhood, pedaling on a stationary bike, or even uh sweat breaking session on the treadmill um there are many ways to get your cardio training in so there's many different ways i mentioned some of them you can do uh uh, uh prolonged endurance cardio you can do high intensity interval training right hey, hey, and doing both of them is, is good you know you can do plyometric uh cardio where you 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 focus on moving your body in an explosive manner. You know, a lot of uh, sprinters um, and people who run track do that. Um, it says, uh, right, it says the cardiovascular system supplies your, so like it, let me, uh, Ooh, a little hot up in this car. Right, it says the cardiovascular system. Let me turn this off. Right, it says the the cardiovascular system supplies your organs with oxygen and nutrients. Right, so in the blood you have uh, the different blood cells, the red blood cells. Um, they have something called hemoglobin. Uh, hemoglobin is what they call hemoglobin is a substance in your blood that that um, basically carries oxygen 
throughout the body. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, let's get this right here. The function of an artery. Right? Arteries. The function of arteries, right? It says arteries distribute oxygen rich blood to your body. Arteries, part of your circulatory slash cardiovascular system, are the blood vessels that bring oxygen rich blood from your heart to all the body's cells. They play a crucial role in distributing oxygen, nutrients, and hormones throughout your body. So, along with that training cardio, you want to make sure what? That um, your arteries are clear. You know, because you can have plaque build up in your arteries, right? From different things that you eat, right? So, that's the function of an artery. So, the arteries are going to carry this oxygen-rich um, blood to your body. Um, and I believe there's something called uh, uh, your O your O2 output, if I'm not mistaken. And you know, brothers who uh, who know can uh, correct me. Basically, on how much uh, how well your body utilizes oxygen, right? So training cardio will do that. It will it will show it will it will help you utilize oxygen more efficiently. Right. And of course, you can do cardio, but you have to have your diet um, on point, you know, to lose weight, but also to uh, keep your arteries clear, to clear your uh, your arteries from plaque and different things that will clog it. And that can cause what? High blood pressure is like trying to force uh, water. The pressure. Oh, OK. It's like you have a. Um, what do you call it? Like a power washer, a hose. They have different tips that will increase the the pressure of the water going through it. So when you have, you know, plaque and all these different things in your arteries or in your blood vessels, it makes your blood pressure go go higher because there's less space for the blood to occupy. So then there's more pressure pushing on the blood vessels or the arteries, you know. And uh, Lord will, I'll I'll, um, I'll get some. Um, some herbs, right? That you can take, and of course, you want to. Herbs, herbs are not just the different roots and different plants. It's also the fruits and vegetables. Okay. The different herbs you you can take to uh, help uh, clear your arteries. You know, and some of some of them are you know uh, herbs that I've already mentioned in previous videos. You know, I just found out that they help. And aid with uh, clearing plaque and keeping your arteries clear. Also, you know things things uh you know that I, I've already been taking. So right, it says our cardiovascular system supplies your organs with oxygen and nutrients they need to do their jobs. And plainly put, aerobic and endurance training is shown to help strengthen cardiovascular health dramatically. So aerobic means there's oxygen involved. Anaerobic means you don't use oxygen. So things like weightlifting, uh, for the most part, is anaerobic. Right now, um, here's another thing too. Calisthenics is really good. Right? Body weight exercise. Uh is calisthenics of course it's good aerobic doing calisthenics now that's that's interesting i thought that was an aerobic exercise it says straight training lifting heavy or doing calisthenics is an aerobic exercise Sorry, an anaerobic exercise. All 
right? So you know, there's different uh, there's different um, calisthenic exercises that are aerobic where you have to use uh, more oxygen, right? You see high in, it's high intensity interval training, weightlifting, calisthenics such as jumps and squats and plyometrics, right? So uh, anaerobic and salakia. So um, with that being said. Let's let's get some of these benefits here. It says so. What what counts as cardio exercise? Well, just about anything that gets your heart rate elevated. Some examples of cardiovascular exercise is brisk walking, jogging, running, cycling, swimming, hiking, rowing, boxing. See, boxing is a really good aerobic exercise. It would be sweating bullets, <laughs> right? Um, especially, you know, if you're boxing out in the hot sun. You know, when I was uh, uh, younger, I, I used to uh, train and box <laughs> out in the hot, you know, we would train out in the hot sun. Um, you know, jumping rope and doing different uh, exercises, flipping uh, uh, monster truck tires around the building, running, um, you know, all, all condition, you know, conditioning exercises, and of course hitting a heavy bag, but that was on the inside. It says, according to research, cardio workouts may have a significant positive impact on, on, among other things, body weight, body fat percentage, and BMI, which is what Elder Apostle Tahar was talking about. Flexibility overall cardio respiratory fitness heart and the respiratory means breathing lungs so a you'll have an increased lung capacity <laughs> right it says uh body weight can be thought of in terms of a balance between energy and expenditure um we just want to get the benefits here right Here's here's hey look this is a key thing right because the lives that we live here in America just is just full of stress, but doing cardio, going for a brisk walk, a jog, right, uh, doing these different things, all right, getting the blood flowing reduces stress. Exercise itself is a type of metabolic stress. However, whether or not a stressor is harmful or helpful depends on the dose and the health. Uh, context of the individual this means that the appropriate amounts and types of physical activity tailored to person's tolerance may reduce may help reduce stress and it definitely does help to reduce stress better sleep quality you get better sleep if you're exercising man if you're doing cardio this is true right uh lifts your mood right because you get a you get a, a dopamine effect and it makes you uh, feel better Right. It says you uh, have you ever heard someone say they felt great after a nice jog or walk when it comes to mental health research is increasing, increasingly pointing to physical exercise as a potent tool for combating low mood and related symptoms. Right. Lowers your chances for health risk. Of course, combats and affects aging, keeps you looking young, improve oxygen uptake. Prevention of muscle degeneration with age, enhanced muscular endurance, lower risk of osteoporosis, improved cognitive function and memory, reduced risk of Alzheimer's uh, disease, better glucose uptake and blood sugar regulation. Come on now. Don't underestimate the power of cardio, right? Um... You know, and that's that's some of the benefits, man. You know, that's some of the benefits. So, hey, Lord will, you were edified with that, and I'm gonna say shalom.